You guys get into side control, you have an opponent with his elbows in, I'm controlling him pretty good, but now he's defensive. Okay, I can't finish you, you're not opening up, I can't mount you, you're defending, fine, I'll go here. Now he pulls his elbows in, he's a little worried. What am I gonna do? Collar tie, choke, and remember, this could take a minute. He may do other things, do other stuff. I just keep choking until, boom, right there, now I'm ready to go. We're gonna get burritos. Let's go. Yeah, after training meal, you know? Protein. Chip. Alright, you got this? Yeah. You know my order my order's over there too. Okay guys. You ready? You didn't flip it upside down, did you? Teach me grappling. What's up guys? Everybody quiet. I've got Mikey here. And we're going to show you guys an arm bar. Okay, check it out. This guy's on his uh, back. I'm in side control. I just passed his guard. I want to arm bar this guy. This is ultra basic, guys. We want to get to an arm bar. You have to understand, we got to keep the arm tight. And we got to make sure that he can't pull his arm out. So what I'm going to do is, I'm in side control like this. He's got his elbows in proper. I'm not ready to attack him. Nobody good is gonna allow you to just grab his arm, rip his arm up, and then just step up here and go to an arm bar. That is like UFC three right there. I can't remember the police officer that hit an arm bar like that. S Steve Jenham? Look up Steve Jenham. He arm barred like some some dude with a freaking arm bar where he went like this. And got him. Those days are long gone, okay? The guy's got his elbows in. So what do I do? I'm here, I know he's got his elbows in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to wear this guy out. I'm gonna post on him and go up to neon belly, okay? Just turn it. Okay, so once I go to neon belly, he's gonna have his elbows in. He's gonna be doing things that he's supposed to be doing at first. I'm gonna give you guys a grip that I want you guys to use. I think I might have even done a video in the past on this, I don't remember, from the mount. I'm gonna show you the grip. The normal grip, a lot of times, I'm gonna have on the neck is here. I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna switch and go to the neck here. Then my left hand is gonna come under his neck. So, right here, I'm gonna go, put your chin down just to show. I roll my, the back of my hand, I go under his chin, and I grip on my forearm. You guys see that? So that way now, I have a blade into his neck. Now it's not a full choke yet, until I start lowering my elbow. This is like a collar, like in gi jiu -jitsu. Instead of just gripping here and choking like this, I'm gonna grip, and now I've given him a lapel. When I give him that lapel, now I can easily grab the lapel, and I don't have to be up here, I can just be here, and then I can start closing the choke. Okay, now this choke is obviously not a real choke, it's just to make him work. And I wanna tell you guys, I oftentimes will wear my opponent out with this. When you get a guy tight, don't do it when he's fresh. You've already been rolling a few minutes. Get this guy, you know, you get to, to Neon Belly, guy starts moving like he wants to escape, and you're controlling him, just kinda of push me and bump and all that. I get that collar and I get the grip. Next thing you know, I start to put weight forward on his neck and I'm squeezing his neck, okay? As I squeeze his neck, he's still trying to bump and he knows that he should not push because if he exposes his arm, I'm gonna take it. I do not go for the move until I feel his elbow falls away from his side enough. I need this elbow to open. I have to have it open. Okay, so the moment I feel that it opens enough, if he keeps really good discipline, then he's got to keep me off with his left hand. You see, he's got to keep me off with his left hand. I'll stay on him and I'll keep choking this guy. As I keep choking this guy, eventually he'll start to open. Now look, can you see that gap? Yeah, right in there. Now walk all the way around for me. Now watch what I do. 
I throw my leg and my toe will not be on the mat. Look, my toe is under his shoulder. My knee is on his chest and I, I've already clamped my elbow. I swing it around and I hold his neck with my right hand. See, the guy can't pull his arm out. My toes are under his shoulder. Try to pull out. There's no way to pull out. I lay back and I get the arm ball. Okay? Check it out again. Okay, a lot of people when they do these arm bars, like way back, back in the old days, the guy, maybe I'm here and I choke the guy and the guy exposes his arms and then you do something like this and this. Okay, and that's not bad, but it's really important to understand the details that my toe is not on the mat. When he opens, I kick like this, here, and my toe won't be on the mat. I will have my knee on his chest and I will be like this. So that when he tries to close his elbow and my hands here, try, there's no, bring it all the way down. I'll even let, allow more space. Keep going. Look, as I'm going here, he's trying to come up. My leg's gonna be over his neck so he can't. And then you guys have a nice tight arm bar. And it's very fast. So when he tries to turn into you to put, reach his hands together or to pull your elbow out, yeah, it doesn't work, does it? Mm -mm. And even if your hands are locked, right here, as I pull, it's so much power because I'm controlling up here. It's not like your regular armbar. The regular armbar is actually looser. When your leg is over here, somebody out there getting murdered, yeah, Mikey? Yeah, probably. Okay, hopefully not. So I hope nobody's getting murdered tonight. Okay, but it's probably happening somewhere. Yeah. Okay, this one's actually not nearly as tight. You feel that, Mike? Mm -hmm. So again, I get, I control this shoulder. So again, you go knee on belly, you establish. The guy's trying to bump you and you're just riding, right? Instead of this one, I go right hand, bring my left hand under his neck, start to choke, lean. Once I get a little exposure, see how I kicked? And it's right there. Then immediately, even if he wants to drop his elbow in, see, yeah. it's stuck. My left leg now, swing over and hold his neck. I'm sorry about that, Mike. Yeah. But I gotta hold his neck, he, try to move. Try to get away, try to bring your hands together. See, and then I'm right there and I'm finishing. If the guy hitchhikes, you're already so tight, keep, if you can turn, I'm staying with him, I'm arm barring him with this position right here. Okay, stay tight with the guy. Don't allow him to roll around and rotate. Last time, okay? You guys get into side control. You have an opponent with his elbows in. I'm controlling him pretty good, but now he's defensive. Okay, I can't finish you. You're not opening up. I can't mount you. You're defending him. Fine, I'll go here. Now he pulls his elbows in. He's a little worried. What am I gonna do? Collar tie, choke, and remember, this could take a minute. He may do other things, do other stuff. I just keep choking until, boom, right there. Now I'm ready to go, okay? It's the moment he opens his elbow. You kick him right in the armpit. Yeah. Kick me in the armpit, Mike. You remember Beavis and Butthead? Yeah. I think it was Beavis and Butthead. Kick me in the jimmy, wasn't that it? Or was that in the jimmy? Wasn't that Beavis and Butthead? Yeah. Okay, go to the choke. See, right here, I'm fighting. To try to go here, yes, and then, did you feel it? That's it, nice. But I think you could have been more mean to me. So what I mean by mean is I think you can actually put your shit, your shin and your knee on my chest and I wanna see toes completely off the mat. Pause for a second, go. So this is one of the problems, guys. You guys cannot be nice. Here, a guy's trying to fight you in another way. Look at those toes, lean in, yes. And even if I were to take you this way, Mike, mm -hmm. swing it over and you fall forward, stay with it tight. Yeah. Swing it over. Even right here. Look, it's a done deal. Look at those toes. I cannot pull my arm out and then finish. Oh, I think I can't get Oh, no, I can't get out. Sweet. It's tight. Yeah. So there's your near side arm bar from me on belly. Okay, make sure you guys understand those details. Okay, keep the shin in the right spot and have some fun out there and don't be nice. Except after the match is over. Yes. Then you can be nice. Respect.
All right, guys, Teach Me Grappling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Share this video, like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And click the links down below at Patreon, PayPal, and contribute to this channel. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, it'd be nice. You guys can always contribute either with $1, $2, $5, $10, whatever you guys can, or just with a simple like and a share. That'd be great too. Thank you guys so much, and I'll be back next time with more great stuff.